You know, whenever I go for a ride, I make it a practice to always wear protective gear. I always wear gloves, a helmet, armor jacket, and boots. But I have been guilty of only wearing blue jeans, and that blue jeans just don't offer any real protection. So recently I came across a product called Bond Armor. And this product is pretty cool because you can wear it underneath the jeans that you love to ride in and still have that protection. You know, I mentioned the Bond Armor for my, uh, that I wear underneath my jeans. And the lower garment has protection for the knees, the hips, and the thighs. And it's really great. But they also have shirts that have armor for the upper body as well. So I'm wearing it right now underneath my Olympia jacket. I actually prefer the Bond armor to the Olympia armor because it's lighter, it fits closer to the body, and it's very cool. You don't even know you have it on. It's very thin, very lightweight, very comfortable. Okay, here I've got the Olympia armor, and I'm comparing it to the armor that comes in the Bond armor. And you'll notice uh, this is pretty stiff. You can kind of hear it when I tap it. This is almost like, this is more like a rubber material than it is a, I don't even know what you call this. But this is very flexible, it's very soft, it's very cushiony, whereas this is very stiff. Same with the elbow. I mean, look at the size of the elbow protection, uh, the forearm protection and the elbow protection compared to the uh, protection provided by the Olympia. So everything's much softer, it's much more flexible, and that's why it's so much more comfortable. Now in Texas, it's really hot, so most of the riding I do is in really, really hot weather. So I have this cool mesh uh, riding shirt and the riding pants, which have all of the pads in them, or all the armor in them, for hips and thighs and knees. And there's also a little pad back here kind of to protect the tailbone. And as you can see, these are very sheer, so the air just kind of goes right through them. They're very cool. Uh, for riding in hot weather. And I wear these underneath my either my riding pants or my jeans. I wear this under my Olympia jacket. Now in addition to the cool mesh like I wear in the summertime, Bond Armor also sells these uh, Airtex all-season shirts and they also have a all-season adventure riding pants. But these Airtex shirts are kind of interesting because they're a little bit more substantial. The fabric is a little thicker. You could actually wear this if you had the armor in. Uh, you could wear this just as a lightweight jacket in the summertime if it's pretty warm, or you can. It's thin enough you could wear it underneath your gear. Now this is just a fabric shell. It has no armor in it. But the uh, nice thing about the Bond Armor system is you only have to pay for the armor in one of the garments, and you can remove the armor and put it in any of the different shells. They all fit. Uh, they're universal. So, and they, these come in a variety of colors. So, as you can see, there, it, the fabric is breathable, but it is a little bit thicker than the cool mesh. For those of you that like to ride in cold weather conditions, Bond Armor has this thermal riding gear, uh, both the pants and the top. This one has the armor already installed in it. And this material is a little bit different than what we've seen on the other garments. It's a little bit thicker. It's still stretchy, so it'll fit nicely and keep the gear tight against your body if you're wearing it underneath your other winter riding gear. But unlike the other garments, it's not perforated at all, so the material won't let air come through. It's designed to keep you warm when you're riding in cold weather. I recently did a week-long ride to Knoxville, Tennessee, where I rode the tail of the dragon. And I was wearing my Olympia riding pants, but underneath I had the Bond armor, underneath the jacket and the pants, and I wore it for a solid week, every single day, and uh, never got tired of wearing it. It was never uncomfortable. It was always cool, and I really kind of just got in the habit of wearing it, and now I actually prefer it over the Olympia armor. Okay, you can see how kind of thin and sheer this material is. This is the warm weather or hot weather gear that I'm wearing today, and uh, you can see, you can see right through it. So it's important to know that this, this does not provide any abrasion resistance. That's why I wear the Olympia jacket on top of it. What I'm wearing this for is impact resistance. And I've got the elbow pads here. You can see the shoulder pads. And then there's also the back pad on the back. 
So here we're going to compare the Olympia back armor that comes in the Olympia jacket to the Bon Armor shirt. Now you'll notice the Olympia is articulated. Uh, the reason for that is because it's a very stiff material and if it didn't articulate you wouldn't even be able to bend over. Your back would be too stiff. The Bon Armor by comparison is a very soft flexible material. So you can see uh, you, can, you don't need the articulation. It also has holes throughout this uh, area so that it keeps the rider cooler in warm weather. And then it's got this additional bit of protection right along the spine, about twice the thickness of the pad underneath. So um, it just makes for a very nice, comfortable piece of back protection. Okay. So I basically just removed all of the armor in the Olympia jacket, and this is what I wear underneath. So whenever I get where I'm going, I can just take off the Olympia, I take this off, and I've got my t-shirt on underneath. I've been very impressed with my personal experience using the Bond Body Armor system. I like it because it's comfortable, it's flexible, it's breathable, and it offers good protection.